afternoon, my dears. It's Kiki here today, and I thought I'd give you a tour of our kitchen. We've been in our home for 10 months now, so everything has started to find its place. This is our deep dish sink and our extendable faucet. It makes washing dishes so much easier. Beside our sink is our Whirlpool dishwasher. One of my favorite features is the pull-out cutlery drawer. Under our kitchen sink is where we keep our cleaning supplies and our dishwasher tabs, which makes washing dishes easy. The drawer next to our sink has our trash liners and our candle lighters. The pull-out drawer underneath has two compartments, one for recycling and one for trash. The cabinet to the left of that has our baking sheets and baking pans for making cupcakes. The cabinet above is mostly empty, as you can see. I have my KitchenAid handheld blender, some dog's food bowls, my measuring cups, and my Been There series mugs from Starbucks. I recently got the South Carolina one for Christmas. The cabinet beside that has all my glassware, glass plates, vases, and our water glasses. The glass cabinet beside that is relatively bare as well, but I have my water pitchers, my cake stands, some adorable National Trust egg cups, and the kitten salt and pepper shaker from Newport, Rhode Island. I like to put things that bring me joy on my countertops. I alternate my Susan Branch cookbooks, and I have this KitchenAid mixer that was an engagement gift to me and Corey from my dad before he passed away. We also have an Alexa there, as you can see. Corey created this wooden partition in our cutlery drawer, which I really love. Makes it really organized. Then in our next pull-out drawer are our everyday plates, including my colanders that I use to wash herbs and small vegetables. And our third drawer is cooking, everyday cooking pots and my strainer. Next, I'd like to show you the cabinets that surround our cooktop. We have some very tall cabinets because we have 10 foot high ceilings. The cabinet to the right of the cooktop has all my mixing bowls. Looks like Millie decided to pay me a visit. She's always around when I'm filming or taking pictures. To the right of my cooktop are my aprons and the doilies that I use for my cake stands. Also some of my cookie cutter collection. In the upper cabinet is some dishware and this beautiful bowl that I really like to put apples in in the springtime. Above the oven hood, it's pretty much empty. In the cabinet to the left of the hood are my everyday spices that I use to cook dinner. Olive oils, Himalayan salt, black pepper and Creole seasoning. In the cabinet underneath my cooktop is my boiling pan and the oven roaster. In the drawer to the left is silverware that we use on special occasions, including my sugar spoons. Underneath that is my everyday glass dishware. These dishes are my favorite for cooking roast vegetables. Now I'll give you an overview of the drawers to the left. In the top drawer are granola bars that I stock up whenever they're on sale. The middle drawer has our soup mixes and cooking mixes. The bottom drawer has our snacks and some potatoes are in there too. In the glass cabinet above, I have my creamware some antique champagne glasses, some more cake plates. Those are my favorites. More pretty things on my countertop for me to look at. The cabinet to the left has all my white porcelain. I put the things that I use most often towards the bottom. The cabinet next to that has dishware that we do not use every day. Sometimes I'll rotate depending on the season. Underneath is a drawer where I keep all our oven mittens and cooling pads and our Tupperware drawer. I always put the lids on, that way you never lose them. Underneath our double oven, I have our cooling racks. We have granite counters, but it's just habit. I always use cooling racks. Above our double oven is our outside dining ware that we use in the summertime. As you can see from the overview, there's a cabinet above our refrigerator, but I can't reach it. It just has small appliances inside. The cabinets underneath our island are pretty empty. They have some candles that I use seasonally. 
but I thought I'd show you the drawers above. In the drawer to the left is all our food wrapping and a folded up bag. And to the right is our junk drawer. To the left of our refrigerator is our mudroom. The baskets down below store our everyday shoes and the frames up above have pictures of my great grandmother. Next to that is our walk-in pantry. We use this cabinet to store all our dry goods and all our canned goods. The top shelf is decorated like a general store. I just really love the sign and the jugs, the milk jugs. The soapstone counters have our bird seed and this wooden inlay chartreuse platter, which was a gift to us from my mom. Also in our pantry are our vacuum cleaner and our CPI main security system. Also we have a magnet board where I keep all our coupons and magnets from some of our favourite places that we've been to. And the step ladder fits perfectly behind a closed door. In between our kitchen and our formal dining room is this coffee bar. It's where we have our tea kettle and our coffee pot. In the cabinet to the left is all our medications. The top level is all my IVF medications that I need to take. Here's Millie, she came to visit again. The cabinet to the right has our paper goods for when we want to go on a picnic. Sentimental mugs, our to-go mugs, including my favorite one, the Radio City mug that we got in New York last year. Here is our tea towel drawer. My favorites are the little arm guards from Buckingham Palace. Our tea, including loose tea, but my favorite is decaffeinated chai. We also have some unbleached coffee filters. And some coasters for if we have guests and a cheese board. The cabinet below has all my seasonal dish towels and napkins, as well as some table decor. The cabinet left to that has all my tablecloths with some scented sachets and some table chargers. We have some art from Hobby Lobby on the wall, and this picture of my Nana from the 1930s that I just love. It's been a pleasure having you here today. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Have yourself a great day.